Ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll enthusiasts, and music aficionados from around the world, welcome to a momentous occasion, a celebration of the 2023 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees. Nestled in the heart of Cleveland, Ohio, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame stands as a beacon of musical history, paying tribute to the legends who have shaped the very essence of rock and roll. Over the years, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame has welcomed iconic artists, bands, and industry trailblazers into its hallowed halls. These inductees have enriched our lives with their unforgettable melodies and performances. To be eligible for nomination, an individual artist or band must have released its first commercial recording, at least 25 years prior to the year of nomination. And now, it's time to celebrate the inductees of 2023, whose contributions to rock and roll have left an indelible mark on music history. First up, we have Kate Bush, an English singer, songwriter and record producer whose eclectic musical style, unconventional lyrics, performances, and literary themes have resonated with generations of rock fans. Kate was born on July 30, 1958 in Bexley Heath, England. She is an enigmatic and highly influential British singer-songwriter, and musician whose avant-garde approach to music has left an indelible mark on the industry. Kate first gained notoriety in the late 1970s with the release of her album, The Kick Inside, which included the popular hit song, Wuthering Heights. Throughout her career, Kate has continuously pushed the limits of both art and music. With elements of rock, pop, folk, and electronica, her music crosses several genres consistently infused with her flair and inventiveness. She has remained a crowd favorite with albums like Hounds of Love and The Sensual World because of her avant-garde style and stimulating lyrics. In addition to her extraordinary musical ability, Kate Bush is praised for her visually spectacular music videos and her dedication to telling stories through her songs. These attributes have garnered her devoted fans worldwide and secured her position as one of the most significant and innovative musicians in the history of contemporary music. Next up is American musician and singer-songwriter, Sheryl Crow. Sheryl was born on February 11, 1962 in Kennett, Missouri. She's a multi-instrumentalist, known for her prolific and versatile career in rock, pop, and folk music. Emerging in the early 1990s, Crow made a significant impact with her debut album, Tuesday Night Music Club, featuring the iconic hit, All I Wanna Do. She has received countless Grammy Awards in recognition of her remarkable musicianship, profound composition, and mesmerizing vocals. With an extensive catalog that includes critically acclaimed albums such as Sheryl Crow and The Globe Sessions, she remains a respected and cherished figure in the music industry. Sheryl is not just a gifted artist but also a fervent supporter of positive change, as seen by her work, which represents her dedication to addressing social and environmental challenges. Her legacy as a well-known singer-songwriter and activist resonates with fellow artists and fans alike, demonstrating her impact on the rock and pop music genres. Next on the list is the incomparable Missy, Misdemeanor Elliot. Born Melissa Arnett Elliot on July 1, 1971 in Portsmouth, Virginia, Missy is a groundbreaking American rapper, singer, songwriter, producer, and visionary music artist. Renowned for her groundbreaking innovation, Pushing boundaries with her sound, distinctive style, and cutting-edge music videos, she is a bona fide legend in the hip-hop and R&B genre and the music industry. With collaborations with musicians like Aaliyah, Timbaland, and many more, Missy Elliott's career took off in the 1990s. Super Duper Fly, her first album, was a huge hit making her a musical trailblazer, setting a new standard in the male-dominated genre. Songs like Work It, Get Your Freak On, and Lose Control solidified her standing as one of the most influential and innovative musical artists to date. Missy is not just a performer, she is also a well-known producer and composer who has crafted hits for a wide range of musicians. As a result of her work, she has earned numerous accolades, including multiple Grammy Awards and worldwide record sales of over 30 million. 
She is one of the most influential artists in the music industry because she continues to push the boundaries of culture and music. The next inductee is George Michael, an English singer, songwriter, and pop music legend. George was born Georgios Kyriakos Paneidou on June 25, 1963, in East Finchley, London. He was well known for his sensitive lyricism, seductive voice, as well as significant contributions to the music industry. Rising to fame as one half of the duo Wham!, Michael's smooth vocals and infectious pop hits like Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go and Last Christmas propelled him to international stardom in the 1980s. He had even more success as a solo performer, hitting the charts with hits including Careless Whisper, Faith, and Freedom 90. George's vocal range, versatility, seductive sound, and commitment to his craft garnered a massive international loyal fanbase. He was a devout advocate for social justice and LGBTQ rights, making him an inspirational figure within the music industry and beyond. Pop musician George Michael has left an enduring legacy that is firmly ingrained in the annals of music history. Up next on the list is country singer Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson is a popular American musician who was born in Abbott, Texas, on April 29, 1933. He was best known for his unique fusion of country, folk, and outlaw country music. Mr. Nelson has been a musical icon for more than six decades. His prolific composition and evocative singing have made him a legend in the world of music. His timeless singles, now today's classics, include hits like, Always On My Mind, On The Road Again, and Whiskey River. His achievements extend well beyond music. A well-known activist, Nelson is known for his work in environmental conservation, and the co-founder of Farm Aid, a charitable concert series. His red bandana and his guitar named Trigger, have come to symbolize his enduring legacy as a prominent folk and country performer, a cultural pioneer, and a champion for social change. Willie Nelson has had an incalculable impact on the genres of folk and country music, and his timeless songs and heartfelt performances have captivated audiences all around the world. Up next to establish rock and roll excellence is Rage Against the Machine, a group formed in Los Angeles in 1991. Rage Against the Machine is a revolutionary American rock band, known for its aggressive blend of rock, rap, and activism. With drummer Brad Wilk, guitarist Tom Morello, bassist Tim Comerford, and vocalist Zach De La Rocha, the band unleashed explosive and politically charged musical performances on stages around the globe. They challenged the system and tackled social and political concerns with their fiery songs and powerful performances. They shot to fame with their 1992 self-titled album, which featured hits like, Killing in the Name. Rage Against the Machine's aggressive lyrics and unrelenting dedication to social justice and human rights have made them legends in the worlds of rock and activism, leaving an indelible impact on music and cultural consciousness. Next up is a legendary group who have entertained over a span of six decades. The Spinners, initially known as the Domingos in 1954 in Ferndale, Michigan, are a classic American soul and R&B group known for their harmonized vocal abilities and timeless hits. With the group's original lineup featuring lead vocalist Felipe Wynn, their music has been admired for its combination of soulful melodies, harmonic orchestration, and touching lyrics. The Spinners produced an incredible collection of chart-topping hits over their illustrious career, including I'll Be Around, Could It Be I'm Falling in Love, and The Rubber Band Man. They made an enormous impact on the evolution of R&B and soul music, with their unique sound becoming synonymous with the golden age of Motown and Philly soul. The Spinners' long history as a favored vocal group, as well as their timeless music, continues to enchant audiences and influence current musicians to this day. This next honoree is known as the founding father of hip-hop music. DJ Cool Herc, born Clive Campbell on April 16, 1955, in Kingston, Jamaica, is a pioneering figure in the world of hip-hop music and DJ culture. He is widely regarded as having laid the groundwork for the collective hip-hop genre. In the early 1970s, Cool Herc's famed block parties in New York City's South Bronx, marked the emergence of hip-hop music and its key components, such as instrumental song breaks, spinning records on turntables, and emceeing. His unique DJ abilities, such as the use of two turntables and the breakbeat concept, created the foundation of the hip-hop music genre. DJ Cool Herc's influence on music, 
especially in the hip-hop genre is immeasurable, he rightfully deserves to be recognized as the father of hip-hop. His groundbreaking contributions to the art forms of DJing and hip-hop continue to influence generations of artists and DJs throughout the world. Next up is an artist whose powerful voice has transcended genres and generations. Born Yvette Marie Stevens on March 23, 1953, Shaka Khan is an iconic American singer, songwriter, and musician who is also known as the Queen of Funk. Shaka's career began in the 1970s as the lead vocalist of the band, Rufus prior to launching a successful solo career. With an amazing four-decade-long journey, and devoted global fan base, she has a plethora of hit songs including, Ain't Nobody and I'm Every Woman. Shaka is a substantially accomplished artist who has won 10 Grammy Awards, and received 22 nominations. Khan's influence goes beyond her musical talents to advocacy efforts, notably in the fields of women's rights, mental health, and charity, establishing her position as a legendary figure in the worlds of music and social impact. The next artist became a professional musician in 1958 at the age of 15. Al Cooper, born Alan Peter Kuperschmidt on February 5, 1944, is a prominent American musician, composer, and producer, best recognized for his substantial contributions to pop and rock music. In 1958, he became a member of the Royal Teens, who had a top five hit with their track, Short Shorts. His career took off in 1965, when he began working as a session musician, where he was instrumental in the success of Bob Dylan's Like a Rolling Stone. Cooper went on to co-find the groundbreaking rock band, Blood Sweat and Tears, where he helped develop their sound and contributed to their early recordings. He recorded numerous highly praised albums as a solo artist and continues to collaborate with renowned musicians. Cooper's diverse abilities transcend genres such as rock, blues, and jazz, making him a well-respected figure in the music industry, both as a musician and a pioneer behind the scenes. This next artist has spent more than 50 years penning lyrics for one of the music industry's greatest legends. Bernie Taupin, born on May 22, 1950, in Lincolnshire, England, is an accomplished English lyricist best known for his extraordinary and long-time partnership with iconic musician Sir Elton John. Taupin's partnership with John began in the late 1960s and has resulted in an enormous and memorable body of work, with Taupin supplying lyrics to many of Elton John's biggest hits. His poetic and captivating lyrics have shaped the emotional depth and storytelling within Elton John's music, making them one of the most prosperous and everlasting songwriting pairs in history. Bernie Taupin's accomplishments secured him a spot in the Songwriters Hall of Fame, and a long-standing reputation as a renowned lyricist in the world of popular music. We close out the 2023 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with an inductee who took TV viewers on the hippest trip in America, for two decades. Don Cornelius, born on September 27, 1936, in Chicago, Illinois, was a trailblazing American television host, producer, and entrepreneur best known for creating and hosting the iconic music and dance program, Soul Train. Throughout the 1970s and beyond, he was instrumental in increasing the prominence of African-American culture and music. Soul Train was a groundbreaking show that gave many great artists and performers a platform, driving soul, R&B, and funk music mainstream. His influence extended well beyond television, creating an eternal impact on the music and entertainment industries, especially in the African-American community. Cornelius' legacy coincides with the growth and celebration of soul music and dance. He passed away in 2012, but his contributions to pop culture will forever live on. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you'll know when we upload again. Congratulations to all the inductees!